it's not, it is not a scientific argument. There's no scientific argument to be made mm -hmm. that females could stand on an equal playing field with men. Well, there's, so there's this issue that keeps coming up and it's coming up in the comments a lot right now. Um, so it's, it's not fair, right, to her because she did work very hard to get to where she is. And I don't want to like discredit that or discount that at all because it's got to be super fucking hard to work like day in and day out for that long to make it to the Olympics. But at the same time, it's, it's, it isn't fair based on biology. So saying like, uh, it's not fair. It's just because of what she looks like or, saying like imagine how she's feeling she's feeling so terrible and stuff like that like i agree that some of the comments that are being made online are terrible but the fact that people don't want somebody who could be potentially unsafe to the other competitors to be in the same in the same ring like that's not horrid that's not like scandalous that's just like people want you know the the sports to be fair and to be safe so like it's it's really hard to to talk about this without somebody getting defensive and saying no. something like, no, you just like, you think she looks like a man or whatever. And like, I'm like, no, dude, like I totally 100% support, you know, like she was born as a woman. I would never call her a man or like, you know, like try to call her the wrong name or anything like that. I'd never tell her not to go to the women's bathroom. You know what I'm talking about? But like yeah. at the same time, I don't like, I wouldn't want her to punch me in the face either. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't want you to punch me in the face. Could we just not be punching each other in the face? That would well, be ideal. <laughs> Uh, but most WNBA players can't even dunk a basketball. There's like a handful that can actually even dunk a basketball. They don't have the requisite muscle density. They're going to get pushed around. They're going to get thrown around. If you have to post up an NBA guy, it's not happening. I don't care if you're the best uh, NBA, whatever rebounder, it's not happening against the worst NBA team. It's just not, there's biological differences. And this doctor actually goes um, and explains it very well. He just says that, look, there are, biological outliers on both sides. You can be a biological female and have very male characteristics that extend into athletic prowess. And it, it could be on yeah. the opposite spectrum of that. Those are outliers, but usually statistical outliers when it comes to genetics are the ones that are the best of the best. You know, the, the Michael Jordans, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Mike Tysons, they're these freak athletes that have, I mean, if you were to look at it on, on what is a normal person versus an elite of the superior elite athletes, they are statistical anomalies. Mm -hmm. And so it stands to reason that there are biological females that would be an outlier for the female gender. And is it fair that they get to compete against regular females and beat them up? Well, yeah, because that's just kind of what we test when we're competing in sports. If she's biologically a female and she's beating the shit out of all these other female boxers but they're on by you know um they, they were both biological females then what you want to say that because she has elevated testosterone she's not allowed to compete that's not fair mm -hmm. that would be fair now if you're saying that oh i'm born a male but now i just want to be uh, <laughs> i want to be loretta have you ever seen that one the life of brian no seen oh i'd, I'd play yeah. it you get copyrighted but it's like you know what from <laughs> henceforth from henceforth i shall be named Loretta or whatever. How could you be born a, a biological female and have somebody argue, no, actually you're male, which I feel like is where this doctor was trying to take the conversation. Not that he was trying to take it anywhere. Um, I'm just saying that he uh, suggested that you could be uh, with, the, with two X chromosomes and have um, predominantly male traits. And, but by no fault of the person, the individual that has those traits, society would try to assign gender based on outward manifestations of masculinity um, and vice versa you can have the y chromosomes and be biological and biologically and internally male and have these outward man manifestations of femininity that have that are not even a constant like back in 1920 we had a very different view of what male and female beauty was as opposed to 100 years later it's always evolving and going back and forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Bruce Jenner was like, he's, he was, he was a male for like 60 years of life. And then he transitions into a female and everybody's applauding and you know, that's great and good for him. And yeah, good for him. But we cannot have like people like that. 
that all of a sudden they just want to dress and, you know, act and identify as women that, but they've been like this Olympic level athlete their entire lives and then drop them into the female pool of competition and combat sports and say, okay, yeah, it's fair. Come on, man. Mike Tyson wants to identify as a female. We're just going to let him in. Does anybody, am, am I the only one that doesn't see a problem with that? That just seems unfair. Lennox Lewis, we're just going to throw him in because he now identifies as a female. Now he's going to be boxing the opposite. You know, I do find it unfair. I have always found it unfair. I have always found it unfair, to be honest with you. I think a lot of people feel that way quietly. It's just really hard to say without people thinking that you're trying to, well, not even thinking. It's just like people make so many assumptions about you. If you say like, hey, I don't think this is fair. This doesn't seem right to me. Then it's like, oh, so you don't support, you know, women who have like masculine builds. You don't support trans women or stuff like that. So it's like, it's, it's really, like I said before, it's just really hard to talk about. I just, it's I probably just, out of proportion. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I don't give an F about what people want to identify about. I really don't. I don't care about the pronouns. Mm -hmm. But I will say this. If um, you're offended because I mispronoun you when we first meet and you're somehow offended, I don't think we could be friends anyway. Enough for me to even care about what you want to be identified about. Like, there's got to be some level um, of grace extended to those that mm -hmm. are not familiar with your intimate pronouns. And when we, we start confusing issues like this, when it's clearly about um, safety and biology and science and attributing that to if I don't see it your way, I'm somehow anti-trans or anti-gay or anti-LGBTQ or anti-anything because you're offended that I won't accept that somebody wants to identify as something, then we can no longer have a civil conversation because you're just talking nonsense at this point. It's not based on science. It's not based on intellect. It's based on your feelings and what you're offended by. And to be quite frank about it, there's very few people in this world that I give a shit about what they're offended by. Or mm -hmm. not. 